Hello and thank you for joining us for a few minutes with uh, chemistry professor Matthew Lockett at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. We're going to talk with you a little bit about what it's like to be a student within the chemistry department here. So can you tell me just a little bit about why a student would choose to pursue a Bachelor's of Arts over a Bachelor's of Science? My recommendation always is for anybody coming in to start at the BA, which has less of a defined path. And if you decide along the way that you want to do more labs, you could either, just as a BA major, take more labs, or you could take all of the lockstep mechanism that is the BS. From the outside standpoint, Leaving Carolina with a chemistry degree, whether it's a BS or a BA, are functionally the same. What can students do now to best prepare themselves at their current institution for chemistry at UNC? One of the things to do before you transfer really is to look at what classes you're going to be taking next at Carolina and what the expectations of those classes are. Right? So if the prerequisites really are you need to have Calc 1 and Physics 1. That really means that you have to be really proficient when you walk in the door. And so if you're nervous when you, move, when you come to Carolina that maybe your math skills aren't exactly where you want them to be, or your physics was maybe not as rigorous as what you've heard that your friends have done in mm -hmm. Carolina, you know, sometimes it's worth to step back for a little bit at the beginning and say, well, maybe I should take one more math course, or maybe I should take one more physics class before I, I jump into the chemistry, uh, chemistry courses. The other thing I would recommend is to reach out to the chemistry advisors. So we have three advisors within the department um, who specifically interact with undergrads coming in. They'll be able to help as well to say, you know, if I'm concerned that I'm coming to Carolina, these are the classes I've had, what are the most important topics from general chemistry I need to be successful? Those advisors will be able to help you um, figure out what you should be studying maybe this summer before you come in. What are some tips that you would give a student to uh, make sure their first semester at Carolina is successful? I think one of the biggest pitfalls we see with students who come in is they overload their schedule with science and math classes. So it, it is admittedly there are a lot of requirements, even with the BA degree. There's a lot of classes that you need to take, but you need to do well in those classes as well. And if you come in your first semester, right, you're getting a feel for what the campus is like, you're trying to figure out exactly what were the expectations at the college I was at before versus what are the expectations at Carolina. And while you're trying to juggle all that, if you're taking a serious amount of science and math classes, that can sometimes be overwhelming. And so I think to guarantee success, I think if you take two or fewer science and math classes when you come in, and you take some other maybe general education requirements, you take some other classes that you're interested in, just to get a feel for what it's like and the rigor of a chemistry or a physics class, I think that sets you up for success in the future. What are some research opportunities or experiences students can have in chemistry at UNC? For undergrads here, uh, all undergrads are available to do research. They could do it through work study, they could do it through Chem 395, which is getting credits for research, they could do it on a voluntary basis. You can do research in any department you want. So if you decide, I love chemistry classes, but there is a research lab which is doing testing new cancer drugs and coming up with new methods to figure out if those cancer drugs work, we totally support you going and do research over there. Um, and so your ability to do research, you can start at any time you want. The one thing I would say is for transfer students or new students to the university is to get that first semester kind of done. Start looking around, figure out what you're actually interested in. You know, maybe identify some faculty whose research you think is really cool and that you'd want to talk to them about. But wait until you get the first semester done so you realize, okay, if I take two STEM classes a semester and I take another class, what does my workload look like and what does my week look like? And then in the spring, if you have the time, you could say, okay, now that I know what my schedule is kind of going to look like and how much time I need to study, this is how much time I could allot for research. It's never too late to start a research lab, so start doing research. So if you, in your senior year, you decide that's what you want to do, there's still time to do that those last two semesters. 
Thank you, Dr. Lockett, for sharing just some insight into the chemistry department here at UNC Chapel Hill. We look forward to sharing some more information about STEM with you all in the future.